Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is gonna be a Scorpio reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this is meant for you. Also, this is for any Scorpio placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious, there's nothing wrong with that. I am gonna meditate with you guys to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading. But before we get started, I want to invite you guys to set an intention for this reading, whatever your heart desires to know. I'm going to set one by pulling a positive affirmation card. The one I got for you today is I embrace positive thought. One more time, I embrace positive thought, okay? So are you doing a little bit of overthinking, Scorpio, okay? Okay, um, you could have a lot of air in your chart, okay? Uh, there's a lot of planets in Aquarius, okay? So... Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or maybe you're feeling that energy very intensely, okay? Um, Aquarians can be overthinkers just by nature, okay? And in our shadow self, we can be a very negative thinker, okay? I'm just being honest with you. And I say that with love because I have a lot of, um, I am a sun Aquarius, okay? Um, but anyways, if you're comfortable, feel free to breathe in and out with me, Scorpio, okay? Okay, let's get started, Scorpio, okay? Capricorn. So for your general reading, uh, Scorpio, I'm sorry for the silence there. I got caught up in the cards. Um, we're we're going to pull three cards for your general reading and then one possible outcome. And then we're going to uh, move on to your love reading, okay? One outcome, please, for Scorpio. One outcome. One outcome, one outcome. Okay, interesting energy. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we had uh, number 15, the devil card. Okay, Capricorn energy. So we'll take that for your overall energy for the reading. Um, then we have coming out. I'm going to get back to that. But we have coming out first on the table, Ten of Wands. So you are completing a cycle, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Number two, the High Priestess. I love this card, okay? She's very powerful. It can be he or she, okay? It's just the energy, okay? This is Pisces energy, Major Arcana. Major Arcana. Um, the third card coming out is Two of Wands. More fire energy, okay? Um, having to make a choice do i stay or do i go usually this card represents you pushing forward in the present to go into the future if that makes sense and then you letting go of the past okay um as your potential outcome we have number 12 the hangman okay so we have we have five cards on the table and two of them are major arcana for you okay which is interesting At the bottom of the deck, we do have three of pentacles. So you do want to work together with someone, okay? Um, this is general. So this could be for your, uh, I wanted to say business, but your career. Um, this could be family, friends, or it could be romance in the general, okay? Knight of Swords, you want to run towards someone, okay? Don't be too hasty, though, okay? Well, I don't think you are being hasty because I feel like that you may be overthinking a little bit, okay? We don't have any air on the table, but I strongly feel that for some reason. Seven of Swords, okay? There's something hidden. Something, someone has been very, I want to say sneaky, okay? And I'm not sure who that is, Scorpio, okay? But somebody has not been telling the truth. Hell, it could have been you lying to yourself about someone or or environment okay your situation but it seems like you want to work towards somebody you want to move towards them okay you no longer want to hide the truth anymore or that could be how the other person is feeling about you okay we also have the queen of swords okay so this usually represents aquarius to me but 
act but in actuality it means a virgo or libra energy okay but to me this always represents aquarius for some reason intuitively um so somebody could have an aquarius in their environment or have that in their chart that's watching this queen of cups you want to leave with your heart and intuition the queen of the queen of cups scorpio is very similar to me to the high priestess okay but she's in the minor arcana so definitely with the high priestess coming out in your main spread, you definitely want to follow your heart and follow your intuition. I feel like you've been spending a lot of time in prayer and meditation, okay? Calming your mind because you learn to embrace positive thoughts, okay? Which is beautiful energy to be in Scorpio. Um, you want to move forward in life. I feel like with the overall energy being the devil, you have let go a lot of things that no longer serve you okay and you've done a lot of shadow work because I, I love the devil card i know people see it in such a negative light when we think about the devil just in just in the world we live in scorpio but i feel like that when we see the devil or darkness it usually shows us the things we need to work on and it will actually help lead us to the light okay and that could be the light within ourselves or just to see the light in the world okay and i feel like scorpio you have really mastered that which makes sense because you are a scorpio and i feel like that you guys not even i feel like it but your car in the de in the deck is death and rebirth that's the most powerful thing i've ever seen okay so when we hear about death we always think of a very dark time but to think about death and rebirth and to know that anytime there's a death or an ending scorpio there is always a new beautiful beginning okay and i feel like you're 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 understanding that okay because it looks like the ten of wands that she's literally walking to the high priestess to the two of wands and then for your outcome the hangman okay and i say she just because the image is on the cars but it's just feminine energy okay so don't get too caught up on the genders um but anyways your outcome scorpio was number 12 the hangman pisces energy and i think when i started the reading i kept on wanting to call y'all pisces for some reason and I, and I didn't know why so maybe you have some Pisces in your chart or maybe you're just in that energy, okay? I feel like you were feeling stuck or you are in a stage of feeling stuck, but you will soon find the answers you need, okay? You will soon be very enlightened, okay? Because the hangman is right underneath the high priestess. So you will go within to find the answers you need or you are going within, okay? So there's definitely going to be some movement very soon, Scorpio, in your life, okay? Or someone's coming towards you or you're or you're going to be going towards them. I feel strongly that it's you, Scorpio, though, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to your love reading. I'm sorry if we're a little bit close today, but if I film during a certain time, um, the sun is like, it creates a really intense glare on the camera, okay? So I have to bring up the camera a little bit closer okay queen of swords popped her head back out again okay so this is definitely you um so for your love reading scorpio um we are going to uh do one card for your current emotions towards a personal situation we're going to do one card for your emotional blockage so what could be getting in your way of this connection coming together um and then uh or you possibly needing a future partner we'll do the same thing for the person you're thinking of or the future person one card for mutual energy um and then we'll do one possible outcome okay tower wow okay it's getting heavy scorpio okay more working together energy putting in the hard work one potential outcome for scorpio's love life one potential outcome mm, i didn't expect that okay let me get this one card that fell on the floor scorpio sorry about that okay so for your current energy um or your feelings right now queen of swords okay you holding your heart pretty tight okay and your cup pretty tight you don't really want to give it to nobody right now 
you being very practical, very logical right now. Okay. And in that air energy that I talked about at the beginning of the video, I felt that for you. Okay. Somebody have Aquarius heavily in HR or air Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Okay. Um, or you could be just, you could be overwhelmed by all of the Aquarius energy going on right now. And if that's the case, Scorpio, you need to meditate. Okay. To find balance within yourself. Speaking of balance and your emotional blockage, two of pentacles. Okay. This could mean juggling, um, just because we, okay. It's two different scenarios, Scorpio, because you have the eight of pentacles as a mutual energy for this connection. So you could be trying to juggle work your personal life or trying to juggle how or you could be trying to juggle work and love or you don't know how to find that balance so you you could be thinking that through okay so that could be why you're in that queen of swords energy okay or or there could really be a need to find balance like i mentioned earlier okay to actually meditate okay in the person's of uh, their current emotions or feelings right now towards you or the situation. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So it seems like that financing and career is playing a big, I don't even want to say issue, but it, it plays a big part in this this bond that you have with this person or a future person. Okay. Um, but this is their energy. So they want to actually manifest something new in their finances or with you. Or it could be both of that, honestly, Scorpio. And their emotional block is the tower, number 16. That's heavy energy for emotional blockage. So the person is going through a transformation, I feel. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles coming out as their current energy, they are definitely growing as a person. Beautiful energy. It seems like it might be a little tough on them, but it's beautiful energy. And this is general, okay? So take out how it resonates. If you don't really align more with the Queen of Swords and Two of Pentacles energy I just went over, then the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower might be more of your energy, okay? Um, like I said earlier, the mutual energy is the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you guys are both working on your sales to work on the bond together, possibly, or you guys could both want to work on the bond, okay? So this could be a current connection or this could be, Scorpio, somebody that you're separated from, to be honest for, with you. In your potential outcome, we have the eight, the eight of swords. I want to say eight of swords. Damn, what's the eight of swords? I believe that's feeling bounded, bounded to like things that no longer serve you, but you're not able to see that it's all an illusion, Scorpio. That's interesting that, that I wanted to say eight of swords. So maybe you could be feeling that way. But I said eight, we have an eight of pentacles right here too. Okay, so there's a big emphasis on money with the number eight, okay? So that could be your energy or their energy or both of y'all, but that's interesting. Uh, but the outcome, potential outcome, because we all have free will is the ace of swords, okay? So there will be enlightenment, okay? And I feel like it'll be for both of you guys. Should I get a clarifier for this? It will be enlightenment. So there's a possibility of you guys coming back together if you guys are separated, Scorpio. I'm just being honest with you. But it seems like in your general reading that that's what you were trying to figure out. Of maybe how to go about things maybe one outcome for the well one clarifier for Scorpio's outcome please page of Pentacles manifesting something new in finances again we're back to the Pentacles okay you guys are heavily focused on the money okay you could be dealing with the earth sign as well too so that'll be Taurus Capricorn or Virgo okay or you could have those in your chart okay but you guys will receive enlightenment and you will manifest something new in this connection. It'll be very lucrative and very abundant. I feel like all the pages and pentacles and the number eights are here because um, 
it's going to be a very abundant and, and prosperous connection, okay? Mentally, physically, and spiritually. I love the energy for the connection, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have four of swords. I feel like you guys have taken a lot of time to do the inner work and to heal and practice self-care and learn how to love yourself first before you guys come back together. Or if this is a new connection, then that's just the energy you'll be in, Scorpio. So just continue to keep doing the inner work, healing yourself, loving yourself unconditionally, making that money, okay? Um, and then you will actually draw in someone who is your equal counterpart, okay? Um, if this is a current connection, um, literally keep doing the same thing, okay? You guys are both transforming and loving yourself and growing together, okay? Which is great energy, whether it's past, present, or future. I feel like it's great energy for everybody, okay? The lesson card that fell out is growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Beautiful, okay? So with the Ace of Swords, I definitely feel like that that is about enlightenment, okay? And you guys are both receiving that. Beautiful message, Scorpio. I'm very happy for you, okay? If this message resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to read everyone's comments. It may take me a while to get back to everybody, but I try to, okay? Also, I would truly appreciate if you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, Scorpio, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.